Hi everyone, uh, this is Mr. Toj Kumbono. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Of course, uh, today we'll be looking at a very important aspect of real estate investment, which will be land banking. Of course, this practice is basically for beginners and a lot of people who have much experience in the industry or in real estate sector also go about utilizing this very uh, practice as well. Land banking is a form of uh, wealth creation. It's, it's an old practice whereby investors or real estate investors acquire a huge number of a huge quantity of land. It could be one plot, apart from being a huge number, it could be one plot in an undeveloped area and live for some time, either to resell in the future or to develop. So it's a very profitable practice. That is why a lot of people advocate, most especially for beginners in the real estate industry. And I'm advocating that for you as well because I started like that. So, and like we said, it's a, a form of generational wealth. Secondly, it's, a, it's a, a form of wealth creation. It's an old practice whereby, in fact, dated as far back as 1920s, even in ancient times. So when you acquire a land, you leave it for some time to appreciate. That's why we say there's no bush. Because once we talk about land banking, we are now looking at undeveloped areas. Areas you can get land as low as 200,000 per plot, 300,000 per plot, 500,000 per plot, 1 million per plot, or let's keep it at 500 or less per plot. A lot of people go about this area and then they come back, is a, a bush. Sometimes it's, it sounds somehow because most people are ignorant of the opportunity or the potentials trapped in an area they just visited. I'll show you a video of a, a place I went for inspection. I was shown a land. I went, I went for inspection. In fact, uh, the company I went with, they wanted to acquire as much as 400 plots. That's about 50 acres measuring 50 by 100 so they wanted to acquire as much as 400 plots so we went to the area is a bush but you know what one thing is i always advise investors to look out for is what is the potentialities of this place what is coming here what is in existence what is the government's interest in this area what is here so some people do not ask that question. Once they go for inspection, they are looking out for maybe one or two houses around the place they are shown in order to know whether a, a, a development is coming in or not. No, that is not the first thing you look out for. Look out for the potential. What is the government, what government structure is in that area? The potentials. You can visit a land today, call it a bush. The next month, government is picking interest to build something in that area and you've lost. You'll be one of those people pointing out to other ones. Oh, I once see, I once, I once inspected a land here. I want, ah, I missed out here. No, I don't want that for you. That's why I'm advocating this practice for you today. I started, and it's a form of wealth creation, like we mentioned earlier. Do you want to build money? Gone are the days where people trap their money in the banks because the banks are always also doing business with your money. You are the, you are, you are, you are now. The, the depositor you deposited i come i borrow the money from the bank you deposited one million the bank have every right if it's in america the bank have full right to loan your money up to nine times let's say you deposited one million the bank have full right to lend your money up to nine different people or up to nine times that's nine million let's say you deposited one million dollars they, they are loaning out, they have every right to loan out $9 million from your, from your money. You see, the, if, if the interest rate on $1 million is about 10%, now they are making up to 90% because they have to loan out to the first person, loan out to the second person, up to the ninth person. So they are making money with your money. You can imagine whereby you have your money seated in the bank and then believing that the interest rate is coming in of course i don't know how much interest rate in nigeria but i don't know how much interest rate things are less than two percent or so i don't i'm not sure but let's do the mathematics let's say it's two percent the interest rate in your savings account then the bank loans your money and again most importantly remember inflation 
inflation is acting on your money. Let's say the rate of inflation, I think the rate of inflation in Nigeria today is about 80, over 18% of around 15%. So the, the, the value of your money is depreciating as fast as 15%. Then you are, you are getting an interest rate of, uh, of uh, 2%. Who is now losing? That's why we say savers are losers. So it's very important you lift your money off the bank, then look out for a large expanse of land to trap your money. I was speaking with one of my one of my clients, he resides in Europe. He was like, man, I need a bush. Get me as many bush as possible. <laughs> Get me as many bush as possible. I said, okay, sir. People understand the importance of land banking. It's a wealth creation. You can put your, you can look out for area selling for two hundred thousand today. Then in the next five years, that area is selling. For, I'm talking about two hundred thousand per plus. That area is selling for five million or three million per plus. Imagine when you bought, let's say four hundred plus. I have a, I have a person who buys no less than ten acres, five acres when he purchases land, and he look out for areas selling as cheap as. Uh, uh, 300,000, 200,000. What are you waiting for? Today, I have a, pro a property. I know a property he bought somewhere. I don't. I can't remember the number of acres. He bought, th th I think, less than 10 acres. It was about less than 5 million. He purchased 10 acres. 10 acres is almost, is almost 80 plots, measuring 50 by 100. So you can imagine someone bought 80 plots for 5 million then what is the value of that property today? I can assure you the value of that property is way above 80 million. The property he bought for 5 million is selling, the value is at 80 million or more in less than five years. That is the importance of land banking. That is the magic. So some of us who are trapping their money in the bank is not a wise idea, it's not a wise decision, it's not wise something to do. So, like I was saying, a place you call Bush today becomes a city tomorrow. Why not lift your money in the bank, then trap it, invest, bank it, I always use this term, bank your money in land. That's the wisest thing you should do. That's what you should do now. A lot of people trap their money in the bank. Apart from in bank, a lot of people also invest in crypto. I'm not saying crypto is not good, but why people prefer, I talked about this before, why people prefer real estate is that it's a tangible asset, it's physical, you can feel it, you can see it, you have full control. But in your crypto, you don't have control, in as much as you make your gain, but you don't have full control, just like stock. Crypto is like stock, you don't have full control, your money can go down tomorrow or it can go up, you are on the mercy of someone else or in the market trend. If the market is trending this way, you are getting it in trending the other way, you are getting No, you don't have full control. But in real estate, you have absolute control. You can decide that your property you bought for 200,000 today, you can decide to sell it for 400,000 or 300,000 tomorrow. Nobody questions you. People will be, even be begging to buy. Then we talk about flipping. You buy it not today, you sell the next day. That's called market flipping. In real estate so when you buy today you sell tomorrow you flip now you're not banking so there are multiple ways you can make money trading real estate but land banking will be focusing on today the importance the reason why you should start banking today in land and lift your money off the bank of course it's a is something like more, more or less everybody is speaking about today then again there are investors there are even developers who want to become a developer. What do you do? Land banking can also help you. I was listening to some, one of the real estate uh, guru in Nigeria. Some of you might know him, uh, Akin Tayo, Stephen Akin Tayo. He was talking about, he started as a developer. He had a, a very old car. I think I remember he, he said he had a very old car that doesn't match his status, that doesn't match what he's doing. People were mocking him like, you're a developer and you're still riding on this. You know, and you call yourself a developer and all this. But he knew what he wanted. He knew he could actually see where he was going. Today he's one of the real estate gurus, the multi-billionaire, multi-millionaire real estate mogul. 
you must not have the capital. And another thing is that a lot of people are waiting to get the capital. A lot of people are waiting to get the money. So I have, uh, I want to invest in this so and so area. I have uh, two million naira with me. I want to build it up to five or ten million naira before I can start. You are making a mistake. I, I always tell people there are lands for every budget. At every budget you have, there are lands in that money. You, you say you have two hundred thousand. You say you have five hundred thousand. There are lands waiting for you. Oh, I'm five hundred thousand. Oh, come on, <laughs> come and buy me now. And the more you, one thing is that land do not wait. The more you wait, the more they appreciate.